Hello Vinyl Community. I'm catching up on some recent acquisitions, starting with this album from 2011 by William D. Drake, keyboardist from Cardiacs. This is The Rising of the Lights. This is one I've been looking for for a while and hasn't been available for some time, but has just shown up again. Love this cover. This is a pretty eclectic album, but it definitely has that Cardiacs flavor. Nice antiqued sort of inner sleeve. Great packaging. Even the label design is really nice. Something that will certainly appeal to Cardiacs fans. Next, a reissue of 1978 album by Magma, Attack, with the H.R. Uh, Giger cover, a little more cartoonish than his usual style, but definitely him. This is the album where they started incorporating a little more of the funky fusion sound and even some gospel influences into the music, which fit in with the sort of choral approach that Magma used better than could have been expected. So a lot of people were a little put off by that at the time, but I think that's it's come to be seen as another classic release from Magma. And then there is this one. Uh, this is, I believe, the latest from Caitlin Aurelia Smith, The Kid. This is a double LP, and this is more vocal than she's ever been on her album. This is a very vocal-oriented album. Nice elaborate packaging for the double LP, and the vinyl is called Twilight Colored Vinyl. Hold that up for a little while. So the, um, the sound is still very much uh, in the electronic vein, but more poppy because of the vocals than previous albums. This is a classic from Morton Sabotnik, Sidewinder. This is wonderful, colorful music. Uh, a lot of different sort of sounds coming from the Buchla synthesizer. A lot of uh, bell-like sounds, plucked string sort of sounds. A rattling kind of motif running through the album that would fit in with the snake on the cover in the title and some opaque philosophical liner notes that really don't shed a lot of light on what's happening here musically, but apparently Subotnik was able to use some surprising ways of controlling the output of the synthesizer. He would use a tape of his own voice as a control, so you don't hear the voice, but the voice is uh, controlling what voltages are applied to the different parts of the synthesizer, so uh, controlling the output using a, a signal that isn't heard itself. There's some um, a particular moment that strikes my ear where there's a sound like uh, steel balls clacking together. It's like that desk toy where you have the swinging balls that tick-tock across some um, uh, um, as one hits, the one on the other end will bounce off. Uh, and that sound will go in and out of phase with itself in different layers. So there's a lot of detail on this, a lot of tone color. Great classic electronic music album. And somewhat following on from that, I've been working on recollecting a lot of the old uh, Karl Heinz Stockhausen albums that I used to own on Deutsche Grammophon, and this is a couple of them. Uh, Stop and Ilem on Deutsche Grammophon. Also, um, Es und Aufwärts uh, from the Seven Days, Aus die Sieben Tagen. Uh, es being it and Aufwärts being upwards. And this is the kind of uh, piece where there's no actual music written, it's just verbal instructions for the musicians to improvise from. And it's, it's uh, considered sort of a, a meditation exercise. And in particular, there's uh, a command for musicians to play 
only when they're not thinking. And this becomes a difficult exercise for the musicians to cope with because it's, well, try not to think. Try not to think without thinking about not thinking. And as such, you're told whenever you have a thought, stop playing. So the initial attempts to perform the work apparently consisted mostly of silence. This one I never actually owned in this version. This, um, I had the microphony on the Columbia label, but I never owned the Deutsche Grammophon version. So there's that. And I received as a bonus with one of these Stockhausen albums, the, uh, the seller from eBay had uh, included this album by the Polish composer Karol Szymanowski. Uh, this I'd never heard of before. It's called Harnessy. And uh, beginning of it is very Stravinsky-like, so that's pretty cool. It's not doesn't quite maintain that level through the whole piece, but not bad for free. This is a, a great package. A reissue of Free Mammals by Charles K. Noyes and Owen Marks with Henry Kaiser and Greg Goodman and uh, artwork by the famous uh, naturalist Ernst Haeckel. This is free jazz, very uh, completely improvisational, freeform sound. Great stuff in the vein of uh, Derek Bailey, Evan Parker kind of records. This was originally released in 1979 and this repackaging comes with some inserts of posters for concerts at the time and some notes. So that's very cool packaging. Finally, this is uh, an upgrade to an album I already had, a Robin Kenyatta, Girl from Martinique. The copy I had before was uh, a little bit damaged on the cover. And this is a wonderful album, one of the earliest ECM releases, recorded in 1970, released by ECM in 1973. A little more straight-ahead jazz than uh, a lot of the music you might associate with ECM. Great, great stuff. A real classic album. So that's it for today. I will be having more to show you very soon. So be well and talk with you again.